My name is Liam and I love fishing. Today I'm going to teach you how to tie a fishing knot. A fishing knot is one of the most important things to know as a fisherman. This is how you do it. So first, you take your line right here and then you take your lure, pretend this is a lure, you put it through the hole and then you put out about a foot of line and then you twist it 10 times. In this case, I'm gonna twist it five times because it's hard to twist it on such a thick line. And then what you do is you take your remaining line and there's a little hole here. You put it through that hole. Once you've done that, you go around the back and put it through there. And next, you pull. And that's fine. Next step is to cut off the remaining line. And then pull again. And then bam. That's how you tie a fishing knot. And now I'm gonna demonstrate how to tie a knot with an actual, with actual line and an actual hook. So first, you're gonna put the line through the hole. Once you've done that, take out a foot of line, about. Twist it 10 times. Take this line right here. And then put it through that little hole right there. And then you pull. Now why it's important to pull on your line is because if you don't pull, then, like, if you don't pull and then you tie a bad knot, or tie a bad knot, um, you might lose your bait. So let's say I didn't, I didn't pull, and it was a bad knot, and I didn't know that, and I cast it on my line, and like the fight on this cast, instead of casting out my line, I cast it out just my lure, and I went pulling it away. Happened quite a lot to me. It just happened the other day, actually. And then, if there's remaining line, try to like remaining knot, try to push it down a little bit. You see, like there's like a remaining knot, it's kind of like a little string. If you can, try to push that down into a little knot. But if you can't, then it's fine. And then, what you're gonna want to do? is you're gonna want to cut off the remaining line. Why it's important to cut off the remaining line is cause again, like, so sometimes when you pull your line, it will like, well like this string will go in there and then you have to be tying that. So basically if you didn't, now, then again, you might lose your bait. And then after you pull a lot, and you snip your remaining line. If there's any other remaining line, you're gonna want to snip it like as short as possible. So like, I have a little bit of remaining line still there. So I am just gonna want to cut that just like that. Hope you like my video. Hope you use these tips to fish in real life. Hope to see you in fourth grade next year.